Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about the left navigation in QuickBooks Online. So first, I want to let you know there's two views for the left navigation bar. In this view, you can kind of see things are pretty simple. There's not a lot going on. There's some nice pictures. Uh, so there's your menu and there's your bookmarks. If I click on the pencil to the right of the menu, it gives me a chance to select things that I would like to have in the menu and to reorder them. So I can select and unselect. In my make believe business, I'm not going to use commerce and I'm not going to use payroll, but I'll use the rest of these things. So I'm just going to uncheck those two and then select save. For my bookmarks down here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on the pencil and I'm going to uncheck live bookkeeping. I'm going to go ahead and select save. Let's imagine, if you will, that there's more things that I want. For example, I know that I'm the type of person who wants to track how am I doing? Like I, I've gone through all the effort to do my bookkeeping. Are things going well? Am I happy with it? I would like to look at my reports. I don't see an easy way to get to my reports, and so I think I should go ahead and bookmark that. To bookmark things within my QuickBooks, I can go to Bookmarks and click the pencil on the right, and I can say, you know what, I'd like something. This is not intuitive, by the way. Um, a different bookkeeper, huge shout out to Veronica on my team, she showed me this. If I click into my magnifying glass, I can see all the things that I could bookmark if I wanted to. In this example, I know that I want to bookmark reports. So I scroll down and I find reports and I select it and I select save and now reports appears on the left. This, by the way, is different than customizing a report and putting something over here so that I can find it later. Okay, so bookmarks are available to me. I've got all these other things that are available to me. I think this is nice. Let's just go from the top and I'll walk you through what you see. So get things done. I, this is where QuickBooks Online kind of mirrors the feel of QuickBooks Desktop. They try to give you a, like a roadmap of things that you can do and save information with arrows and a workflow. I think it's all right, but it's not really my jam. There's a business overview. This could be really great, except for I can't find ways to customize it to make it my own. For example, I might want to see, you know, last year, I might want to see this year. I might want to compare the two. I can't, right? I might want to add a graph like accounts receivable. I might want to move graphs around. I might want to put invoices and in sales. I might want to get rid of my sales and keep my invoices. There is not a whole lot that I can change here. You can see here are the things that I can change. So I encourage you to acknowledge that this is nice, but recognize that it may or may not really be your jam. The third option is my banking option. So this is where I can connect my bank to QuickBooks for a one way sync. I like this a lot. I definitely think that it's useful. This, by the way, is just an ad. You're going to find lots and lots of ads within QuickBooks. You decide if you want to sign up for QuickBooks checking. I personally do not. You can decide if you want to sign up for a loan with QuickBooks. I personally do not. And the PPP Center doesn't really apply to me. So next option on the list is get paid and pay. So get paid is people paying me for things that I have done and pay is me paying someone else. Intuit does have the ability for me to ask people to pay me and for me to collect money from people. I can send an invoice with a payment link. I have the ability to pay money to then send money out. I don't use QuickBooks bill pay service. Really, everybody I pay sends me an invoice with a payment link, and so then I just follow the link and pay my staff, or anything that isn't like that is on some sort of auto-draft, so I don't, I don't need to do that. But this is useful to know. I want you to know where it's at. And then there's customers and leads. A couple of things to know. Uh, you, of course, can have your customer list here. Then there's marketing. 
Intuit bought MailChimp, so now you have the ability to do MailChimp stuff. There is also, if you look around hard enough, I don't remember what this is called, there's kind of like an Intuit directory that they're putting together. So your information will be available to other people who choose to look for it. So bookkeeping, this is really, it's your banking, right? So I know that because it says bank transactions. I know that because it says connect account. Once you have connected a bank account to this view, whether it's a checking account, a savings account, a credit card account, this box will disappear and you'll then have a list of things that have downloaded from your bank into your QuickBooks for a one-way sync. Taxes, it sounds big like taxes, but really all it is is your sales tax, if applicable, and your 1099 filings. If you're not familiar with 1099s, no matter when you're watching this video, even if it's years from now, I need you to go to the IRS website, irs.gov. I need you to search 1099. I need you to get really familiar with this. You are likely to need to know 1099 miscellaneous and 1099 NEC for non-employee compensation. So then down here is apps. These are various apps that you can connect to your QuickBooks Online. Apps are going to be software that people have created that they feel is better than the software built into QuickBooks Online. Dext is a receipt management software. Expensify is receipt management run by ADP. ADP is a payroll company. You get the idea. There's so many apps. So down here is more. This is the stuff that we've hidden earlier bank transactions, we've looked at that, reports, we've looked at that. So that's the left-hand navigation menu version one. I'm going to show you version two and we'll just run through it a little bit faster. To look at the left-hand navigation menu slightly differently than this, you would go to the gear in the upper right-hand corner. Down here at the bottom, it says you're viewing QuickBooks in business view. You would switch it to accountant view. I like accountant view not necessarily because I'm an accountant or a bookkeeper, but because I feel like there's less moving in and out to find stuff. I feel like this is more intuitive to me. So across the top, you've got the dashboard. Little arrow means that information flies out of it. So there's get things done, there's business overview, right? Just like we saw here, get things done, business overview. The banking screen, I, I believe a moment ago I called it bookkeeping, but I'm like, Really, it's your banking because your bookkeeping is the whole picture. There's sales. So all the things pertaining to sales. Now I can quickly see all the things that I might want to do. My customers and leads, my cash flow, my expenses. This introduced projects. We'll talk about projects in a later video. Payroll. I'm not using it, but I can't turn it off. Time. This is my time tracking. My reports. My taxes. Mileage. Mileage we didn't talk about earlier, but I think you should know that it exists. If you're the sort of person that uses your vehicle for business, if you're not already using an app to track your mileage, you might find benefit in this. If you've tried this and it's not your ideal software for whatever reason, I don't care why, you might prefer Mileage IQ. Lots of great options out there, but that's one I would recommend you look at. So accounting. This takes you to your chart of accounts and to reconcile. Reconciling is the same thing as balancing your checkbook. My accountant, so you go to add your accountant. Capital, this is your chance to get a loan. Commerce, apps, insurance, also known as another ad, and life bookkeeping, another ad. So this is just a very brief tutorial of what you'll find in your left navigation bar. The only thing that we did not talk about was the plus new. I love, love the plus new. The plus new is just the, I refer to it as the, I want to do something button. This is where I go. If I want to make an invoice or log a check or record a time entry, different than QuickBooks time. If I want to make a bank deposit or a journal entry, like if I want to do something within my QuickBooks, this is probably where I'm going to go to do it. I can't do everything, but I can do almost everything by just coming here and picking the thing I'm looking for. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if there's any videos you'd like to see me make in the future, or if you need any help from myself or my team, 
You can find us at gentlefrog.com. Thank you so much.